Okay, we're looking at domain and range of functions here. Now remember, domain is what goes into a function, i.e. the x coordinate, uh, and range is what uh, comes out of the function, okay, i.e. the y coordinate, depending on what x coordinates you put in. All right, um, so it's all linked to graphs and stuff. Okay, so let's have a look at this first one. f of x is uh, 2x plus 1. So essentially all I've got to do here is put f of 3 in, and I get uh, 5. Okay, and so therefore, the dem the range, sorry, is going to be less than 5. Because, right, if I put 2 in, it's going to be less than 5. So anything I put in, if x is less than th or equal to 3, it's going to be less than or equal to 5. Because when I put 3 in, I've got 5. Anyway, now... The, so when it's a straight line, it's, they're fairly obvious, right, and fairly easy. The issue is that when you get a function something like this, now this function is a parabola, isn't it? And it looks something like this. I'm just going to draw a really rough sketch. And uh, where that's minus 1 there. And they're asking you from, mi from minus 2 to 4. Now minus 2 to 4 is about, uh, I'll just change the colour. Right, minus 2 to 4 would be around here and around here. So don't be fooled into just putting minus 2 in and 4 and saying, oh, it's between there and there, because actually it goes down to there. So I'll just change the colour back. Okay, so when I put, uh, when it's at 0, I get minus 1, so it goes as low as minus 1. OK, and when I put 4 into this, I get 15, right? So, but when I put uh, minus 2 into that, I would get uh, 3. Now, minus 1, it goes down lower than that. That's what I'm saying. And so, actually, you want to go from, uh, like I say, uh, I'll change the colour again, actually. So, that's from the bit of function we're looking at. It goes any to anywhere between here and here, OK? Whereas if you put minus 2 in, you will be fooled into thinking it's just that goes down to this point here. All right, so that, that's all that is. Right, now then, I'm going to try and do this uh, in, uh, well, I'm going to try and do this pretty quickly. Now, domain uh, is what goes in, so that's going to be the function. So I'm going to, I'm going to need to find what f of x is. All right, range, however, they've kind of already done for us because... Um, they've already said that it goes between y equals 3 and y equals 5. So actually, here we go. So that's nice and easy. That's, that's the domain. Uh, so the range. Range. There. But I've got to find the equation of the line that goes between those two points. Now, I'm going to do that by finding the gradient between those two points. Gradient is the rise over the run, isn't it? So we've got 2 over 4, which is a half. And then I'm going to put... Uh, let's uh, change that. So I'm going to substitute into y equals mx plus c. I'm going to substitute um, uh, y equals... Which point shall I use? 3. m equals a half. And x equals uh, 4. So that's how I'm going to get uh, 3 equals a half. Y equals mx plus c. This is to find what c is. And so 3 equals 2 plus c. Right, so c is therefore 1. Okay, and I'm going to then write, and I need to change colour again. Okay, so therefore f of x equals a half x plus 1. Okay, or you could write that a number of ways, couldn't you? Uh, you could write uh, x plus 2 over 2, that would do as well. Okay, but there you go, so that's that's all those mean. So it, it's all skills that you've seen before, okay, i.e. substituting in and finding equations of lines and stuff like that, right, but uh, they're dressed up in a slightly different way.